What's up, Nation? Once again, this is your coach, Billy McMullen, former Philadelphia Eagle and University of Virginia All-American. And we're here talking about routes versus different coverages, different routes versus different coverages. And today we're going to be talking about the shake route, also known as the post corner. A lot of guys go to these camps run that post corner because it's a very, I love this route. This is one of the best routes I've ever been in. Three steps to the post, outside to the corner. A very effective way to, to, to mix up the defense and make some big plays. All right, but I'm going to give you some uh, tips and tidbits on how to run this versus different coverages, okay? Uh, let's get out here. Let's go. So, check this out. We're going to do the post corner versus uh, man press first, okay? Post corner versus man press. Remember, with all of your releases, all of your routes, there's a certain uh, place you should line up on the, uh, on, on the line of scrimmage. Or to, uh, on the field, let me say that, on the field. So, a post corner, I can grab the bottom of the numbers, okay? Or I can grab the top of the numbers. All right, remember we're coming back out, so you want to save yourself some space, all right? So let's talk about the press release, okay? Um, if you have my program, you can incorporate a bunch of different releases here for your press release. If you don't, email me at wideoutpro at gmail.com and ask for it. I'll tell you more about that at the end, okay? So, just relax. It's all All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, this is a post corner, all right? Post corner. We're going to take about 12 yards to the post. Bam. Uh, 12 yards up field, about three steps to the post, and back out at a high angle. So it looks something like this. We're here, inside release, bam, running, running, running to the post, eyes on the quarterback, boom, up top. We're going up top. The ball is going to be dropping on our outside shoulder. I'm looking for a touchdown, okay? All right, I'm looking for a touchdown. The ball is going to drop on my outside shoulder. I'm not going here. I'm not going to the sideline. I'm going to the back power line to get a touchdown, okay? So let's rewind that. This time, stay over top. All right? So, if I beat the corner up here, if I don't beat him and he's still over top, this is when I shake it down to get a catch. All right? That's when I shake it down to get a catch. Let me show you again. Touchdown. Alright. Look at this now. I come out my post, he's still higher than me. I'm gonna shake it down. See the difference? That's how you get a catch. Why would I run into him when there's no need? Alright? So you go 12 yards up the field, hit it hard, three to the post, and then up the field for a touchdown, depending on where he's playing you, okay? Alright, so listen up. I'm gonna have uh, I'm going to actually run some of these routes, guys, so you can see at least three-quarter speed, but it's a very simple thing to do. You just got to have good releases, all right? With this, with the, the, the post corner versus uh, man press, you definitely want to try to get that inside release. If you can't, you still can work them from the outside, all right? Get my release program at wideoutpro at gmail.com. Email me, ask for it, so I can get it to you so you can know how to get all these different type of cornerback uh, uh, techniques get up into your route, all right? So with this post corner right here, you guys have to definitely be aware of how he's playing you, and then you can make all the plays in the world. Let's go.